Hello everyone and this is going to be a very short lesson on how to control the noise at VDB level using uh, external masks or attributes. So you can think of this as like a small addition to the ice cream series. I'm not doing it on the ice cream lesson, but someone asked me like if, if you want to use like slope to control the noise on the ice cream, then how would you do that? So this will give you an idea of how to do that. Okay. so. Like I have a very simple example here. I have this external uh, box and I'm generating a VDB out of it. And that is being used to control the noise that is being applied to, you know, this, the rubber toy. Okay, so to get started, I'm just going to get rid of, you know, like all of this and we'll start from scratch. So what I have here is I just have my rubber toy and I gave it a Boolean union so that I can just unify the entire object. Because uh, what happens is if you do like a VDB, uh, without doing a Boolean union, then all of these individual parts sort of form their own different volumes and that causes problems when you start applying noise and stuff. So just do a Boolean union and then we can do a, do a subdivide. So I can just do a VDB from Polygon and I'm just, I'm going to apply like noise to this. So I'll just take this and I'll set this to surface. Let, we'll call it density like we had done in the previous lesson. I'll do fill interior and we'll make it 0 0.03 or let's do 0 0.01. So this is good enough. And then I can just take a volume bob and we'll apply noise to this. So let's just call this noise. Okay, so this is pretty simple. I'll just take a turbulent noise and position and do an add. And the usual, we'll do a multiply constant. Okay, so let's just lower this. So there we go, we have our noise. Okay, so this is fine. Now we want to figure out a way to sort of control this. So let's say if you want to control it using attributes. Now the problem is this is a VDB, right? It's volume, so, or voxels. So you don't really have attributes on it. So what we can do is, I can just come in here and let's say we want to generate like a slope attribute. So I think there is, yeah, in the labs, there is a slope that you can take, or if you just want to create one of your own, you can do it using a group. So I'll show you this and then we'll use that one. Okay, so we can take a group node. Let's just call it slope. And I can take a by normals and we'll keep it to one. And I'll just lower it. See, so we'll get this. And then I can just take a wrangle node. We'll give it a slope. So we'll use the group as slope. And I'll do F at slope is equal to one. So what it will generate is if I click here and click on slope, see it's basically made this. And then you can just take a blur. So we can take an attribute blur and you can blur this a bit. So let's just like, type in slope over here and there you go. So we can just blur it a little bit and there you go. That's how you can generate like a slope attribute or we can just use this directly. So that should give me a slope value. Yeah, there you go. And the only thing you want to do is turn off, like it's probably generating color somewhere. I'm very sure it's generating, yeah. So we don't want to generate color. So what you can do is you can turn this off. You can, it says output slope mask is color. Just turn it off and it'll create like a, you know, slope attribute for you. So this is, it's simple, like it has inbuilt blurring and everything and you can control the slope through, you know, a graph. So this is easier. Okay, so we have this and now what I can do is I'll connect it into my VDB from Polygon and you can convert this to, uh, to another distance field. So what you do is you click plus over here and you pick the attribute. So the attribute is, uh, you want to pick up normals and you can do those things as well. We can just do p dot slope, and the VDB name will be slope. So now what will happen is you'll see that there is an additional slope, uh, you know, volume that is in there. And now I'll get rid of that. Or actually, no, hold on. So I'll just keep that as an example. So I can come in here and and you can see like there is a little bit of, you, you can see a fog forming around it. You know, like if I change the background to dark, see, you can see that that's your slope. Okay, so what I can do here 
is simple. Just take a bind node and this is a float. So just, you know, type in float, like keep, keep it to float and just type the name as slope. And then I can take a multiply. I'll drop it here in the middle and we can just multiply it with slope. And there you go. Okay, so now what's happening is that wherever you have slope, you are applying the noise. See. So if I come in here into my slope and I change it, you know, or if I flip it, see, so now you're applying it, you know, to the base. So this is how you can use attributes at volume level. Now, uh, let's say you want to do the other option, which is I want to control it using like an external object. So I can take a box and I'll just convert this to VDB from Polygon. The only thing is your masks will have to be like a fog. They don't, they can't be a distance VDB. They have to be a fog VDB. And we'll just call this as mask. And then I can just put a transform here. And make sure you turn on fill interior. Otherwise it will use like a border. It will look weird. So just take a transform. And I can plug this in. So I can move this around. Let's say I'll keep it near the nose. And then just jump in here. I'll get rid of this. And take a volume sample. So volume sample will allow you to import a volume. Uh, make sure you connect the position. And we take in op input 2. Connect that to file name. And change from primitive number to primitive name. And it will be called mask. And then just plug this in over there. And there you go. So now if you take this and move it around, so we can do that. Uh, let's see if we can also like, you could probably combine these two together. Like I could do a, I can do an add. You could probably merge these two together. I don't know what that will look like, but yeah, there you go. So now you're doing both. So I can just take this and let's say we see. So now we have the slope also affecting. And we have this box also affecting it. A lot of this and more is actually covered in my uh, VDB and noise series. So if you if you get interested in something like this, uh, you can easily you can pick this up. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you want to use this and apply like more complex or control how the noise is applied on the ice cream, you can do that.